We broke through the tree line and I began angling uphill, taking a steadier pace after we lost sight of the other competitors. I needed some place where I could actually see the surrounding area, so I kept an eye out for a particularly tall tree or other raised area. To Val's credit, she was moving nearly as fast as I was and was probably more sure-footed than me. She had at least some degree of training, whether just in a gym or somewhere else. I needed more info on her. Val, what skills you got? I was watching around us. It wasn't simply a matter of finding a high place, but looking at our actual surroundings. While trees were identifiable as such, they weren't like any earth tree I'd ever seen. Some looked almost like birch, but with needles instead of leaves. The differences continued with the rest of the flora. It was a problem. Eating anything right now would be a gamble. Maybe it fills us up, but maybe it gets us sick or kills us. We couldn't even trust water right now. We'd cleared over a mile thus far. We were making good time. Val called us to a halt for a moment. Well, I mean, I work out, and I can cook, but I haven't been in a survival situation before. I paused there for a moment. It's not just direct survival skills, although cooking's going to be important. Tons of stuff that seems silly can be a huge advantage in the wild. For one, sewing can fix ripped clothing, mend fishing nets, or it can sew wounds shut. There's tons of stuff like that that folks just don't think of as survival skills. Well, I mean, I do rock walls. I can sew. I was training up to climb Mount Rainier. I was going to do a survival course beforehand, but this. Do you think there's really no other way out of here? I've got a daughter to get back to. She said, leaning up against a tree. Even if there was, I don't know how to pilot a starship. And unless I miss my guess, you don't know how to pilot one either, Miss Val. You mentioned Rainier. Are you West Coast? I ask, on account of living in Portland. Some of the exercise of this conversation was to learn about her. But if we're honest, it was calculated. For this to be a show, like the host was talking about, that meant they had some way to keep feet on us. That also meant somewhere out there were viewers. It was a bit of a guess. But if there was some sort of tribal council or audience voting, then humanizing ourselves would be critical. Hey, humanizing. Val beamed. I think just on the point that we had something to build on aside from a death game. Wait, we're in Portland. I'm up in North. I looked around and saw a thick, tall tree that went higher than the others. Out in Wood Village myself. Small fucking world, ain't it? Or it was intentional. Focus on your training and take it by the numbers. One or two coincidences, such as being in shape, could be written off. But hitting two people in the same city? of a single planet, one male, one female, both of whom were in the same general age range, both in good shape and seemed to be reasonably able to handle the mental stress of the current situation, were not random. None of the other species I saw looked weak, heavily overweight or underweight. No deformities or apparent disabilities, and all had essentially accepted the situation as it was, whether showing anger or not. Unfortunately, there wasn't really time to delve into it right now, and I had nothing to confirm my theories anyway. Hey, Val. You're a climber, yeah? Can you hop up this tree and get a look around? We need to figure out where we're going. I'll keep watch down here. I wasn't going to pass up on the chance to get proper scouting done, and Val seemed up for it. It was a stupid risk, I know, but at the same time, we needed to be able to figure out if there were any landmarks or spots that might work for camp. She shot up the tree, she was good, and confident in the climb. After a little bit with her up near the top, she called down, Hey, there's a bluff and a river over that way. She climbed back down. So, we going for the bluff? I was still considering. The river would be a water source, but honestly, at the same time, that also meant it would be hunted. The bluff, however, would mean we were protected from most potential attacks by our fellow competitors. In the end, it was essentially as good as any spot. Yeah, let's go for it. We've got 37 minutes and change. Think we can get there in time? She hopped slightly. Only one way to find out? And took off, setting a strong pace. I caught up to her pace, trailing slightly behind her now. Not sure what's out there, but best to move quickly. Hey everyone, hope you loved the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more awesome sci-fi content, 
You can also support us by hitting the thanks button at the bottom of the video. Your generosity goes a long way. Every bit helps us bring you more stories from the stars. Thanks a bunch.